and that's why I'll never willingly eat Jello again. I wish I didn't know that one of your exes had a Jello fetish and ate it from some really unconventional places. Like, I'd kill to wipe that information from my brain. Covertly Watching You has changed their name to Frequently Naked. I changed my name to match the mood of this chat, which is to say, uncomfortable. Understandable. Have a nice day. Fuck you, Pikachu. I did not need to know what Jello tastes like out of an asshole. I will never be able to look at Jello the same way. I'm gone for half an hour, and the chat devolves into eating Jello from assholes. What a class this is. This is highly inappropriate for school. I don't even want to know. Why? I am never sharing food with you ever again, Kami. It's not like I was the one who suggested it. No, you're just the one who was like, cool, I went to it. No judgment here, my dude. I'm just saying. Your relationship is so... wholesome. I was going to say it was pure, but nothing about the two of you is pure. No offense intended. Only some taken. No, it's okay. We know what we are. We are memers. We knew what we were doing when we chose this life. The life of a memer is a dang and lonely one. Um... You guys are fucking weird. I almost missed general studies. At least the students in that were somewhat normal. Come on, Shinsbro. Just embrace the weirdness. You're one of us, after all. One of us. If you call me that horrific name ever again, I'll mind control your ass off the nearest building. Never mind. I've just been told that mind controlling your classmates is an uncool thing to do and that I should reconsider my actions. I'm so glad to see someone else besides Yoruto and myself have some common sense. Also, Isawa told me to tell you that your class is by far the most annoying class he's ever taught and you kids need to calm the fuck down. How much do you want to bet that it was present Mike telling Shinzo that mind controlling kids off a building is not cool? You know, because they're his parents? Mm-hmm. I hate this fucking family. That's relatable. You'll never guess what I just walked in on. Toro, don't you fucking dare. Let me borrow your Halsey CD and I won't. Don't give in to her demands. Be strong, Kyoka. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Momo, but I would not be able to live this down if word of my horrible actions reached the ears of my classmates. Just give me the Halsey CD and no one ever has to know. It's yours. You win. It's on the table in the common room. Jesus Christ, Jiro. What the ever-loving fuck did you do? I'm too ashamed. She did the thing? The dabbing thing? With the arms? I don't know. It's a thing the kids are doing nowadays. Momo, you realize technically we are the kids. Maybe so. You will be avenged, Jiro. I promise you. The time of Hagekure's reckoning is coming. Thank you, Midoriya. I believe in you. I feel like I should be concerned. It's Midoriya. I don't think it'll be too bad. Invisibitch better fucking watch her back in the coming week, because Deku can go fucking hard when he's looking for payback. Once, in middle school, there was this kid with wings in our class who made fun of All Might's costume. Kachan, that was a long time ago. And because the little fucker is analytical as hell, he noted all the times the kid let his guard down after quirk training, and eventually took the opportunity to paint the same pattern as All Might's costume onto the kid's wings, slowly, one day at a time. I honestly don't know how the kid didn't notice what was happening. Well, um, that's not so bad. The kid should have known what would happen if he was making fun of All Might in front of Deku. Okay, before you even say it, Kachan, I had no idea what would happen. It was hilarious, actually. The kind of pain techniques doesn't usually come off for several months, at the least. So, the kid in our class had All Might-themed wings in the exact costume he hated for five whole fucking months. It was, it was great. The teachers didn't care because Deku's quirk was good for nothing. Why would they ever suspect him of doing anything to someone with a half-decent quirk? Well, the more you guys talk about your middle school, the more I realize how fucked up that school is. Remind me not to ever piss you off, Suku. Shochan. 
Your middle school experience sounds terrible. Those teachers were not doing their jobs at all. It shouldn't matter if you manifest their quirk or not. Kids should be treated the same. Thank you, Ida. I agree. Maybe someday when we're pro heroes, we'll be able to change that. You guys are so manly. I want to help too. Kotsky would never admit it, but I think he wants to help as well. Fucking shitty here. Who said you could speak for me? You did when you agreed to date me. Fucking hell. Alright. How did you guys start dating? I don't think anyone ever told me the story. Bakugan has changed their name to Baku Back the Fuck Up. Before you get smacked the fuck up, fucking Deku. It's really not exciting as you think, Midoriya. Should he hear? Don't you dare. Hey, that rhymed. Do you want to die today, Pikachu? Because I can help the process along. Meh. We were actually talking about how blind you and Todoroki were to each other's feelings and how you guys should just fuck already. I see how it's fuck me eyes were strong, okay? Don't you fucking judge me. I'm judging you so hard right now. I'm always judging everyone. We get it. Anyway, we were talking about how frustrating it was that the two smartest guys in class were acting so fucking stupid about their feelings and I just... I couldn't help it anymore and I kissed him and I said, Does this make me smarter than Midoriya? No. No, you did not. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes. Yes, I did. That's adorable. You're adorable. I love you, Ochochan. Red-Eyed Black Dragon has joined the group. You are the worst class I've ever had the misfortune to teach. Kaminari, we need to have a discussion about what is appropriate language to use while on school grounds. Well, it's been a good life. I regret only some things. Human Tornado Siren has joined the group. Shota, you don't really need to have a discussion with the boy about... Certain events that will remain unspoken, do you? I think we've all been punished enough. Holy shit, is that you, Present Mike Sensei? How'd you even get into the chat? My son let me join his group of young people! I did not. He stole my phone. I simply confiscated it. You'll get it back after training. Shota says you let your guard down when you hear it, Dane. Which is a lot. Fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Watch your fucking language. Huh. It's so fucking weird watching this from the other side. Don't think you're off the hook either, problem child. Red-Eyed Black Dragon has added I am here to the group. Oh, I'm here again. Hello, students. Hello, Izuku. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Yes, it is fantastic, young Kirishima. Toshi, I've looked up to you for years. You will be my legal father in a few months. Know that it comes from a place of love when I say please, for my sanity, please stop. Oh, am I embarrassing you, young Midoriya? No, 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 you could never embarrass me. I take this as a personal challenge, Izuku. I will find a way to properly embarrass you, as a father should. Oh my god, why are you like this? It was a request from one of your classmates, and how could I refuse when they said it'd help our relationship grow? Hagakura, you're fucking dead to me. I actually didn't do it this time. Well, Midoriya, I thought we were friends. Now that's some pretty unhero-like behavior, Izuku. Do I have to tell your mother? Please, no. Whoever did this will be found, and they will suffer my wrath. All I wanted was to see you flustered. I didn't mean for it to get out of hand. Also, I wanted to see what a proper father-son conversation looked like, since mine is, you know, a little flaming garbage dump. Shoto, why have you betrayed me like this? For the cute face you make when you're embarrassed, it's worth it. I lived, bitch. I can fix that. Nope. I can get someone else to fix that. Better, I guess. Have you guys ever seen someone so beautiful? that you just cease to exist for a moment. Ashido, that's been my life since I fought Izuku. Honestly, same. Since I met Shochan. Shota! No. Please! No! Pretty please! <sighs> I guess... the kids have a point. There. That's all you're gonna get out of me. Now you brats get off your phones and start doing homework. 
Red Eyed Black Dragon has left the group. You kids know him. He's grumpy like that all the time. Who are you guys? It's like I don't even know my own teachers. Uh, Kirishima, right? Yes? We're basically you and Bakugo, but stronger. Human Tornado Siren has left the group. Oh, got you bitches out and left like a boss. I suddenly have much more respect for President Mike Sensei. Now watch me whip has joined the group. Oh, so this is the group that Aizawa was telling me about. Who the ever-loving fuck are you? The one who's going to give you a month's worth of detention for speaking to me like that. I was told that this was a group of kinky kids, and I came to spread my knowledge to make sure you brats are being safe. Midnight Sensei? The one and only. Oh my god. Life is good, my skin is clear, and my crops are flourishing. Hmm. You kids know that we can see everything you are saying in here, right? This program was created to improve communication between the heroes and the students at UA for an emergency situation. I had no idea when Hatsume Mei came up to me and, and introduced this program. I thought it was a good idea to use it to study since there are a couple of students often falling behind. I bet she didn't say a word about what she and Power Loader intended this chat to be, did she? Once again, I've been bamboozled. So, while I'm here, you kids got any questions? How do I make sure that Izuku is probably not saving me? Huh? Has Todoroki been possessed? Aizawa was right. You kids are fucking weird. <laughs> Never mind. Question answered. Nope. Not gonna talk about it on a chat where Toshi might see it? Nope, nope, any, nope. And Shotron, we're gonna have to have another long talk. Oh god, why?